They came from above, an attempt to regain the airport. The Ukrainian government launched what's being called its biggest operation yet against pro-Russian fighters. It began in the early hours of Monday, when the separatists seized control of the building. The airport shut down. No flights in or out of the city of one million. Police blocked access to the entrance. Ukrainian authorities set a deadline for separatists to lay down their arms. It came and went with no surrender. The crackdown came quickly. Smoke rose over the airport as jets and helicopters launched attacks to root out the separatists. But more arrived to join the fight. Fighters belonging to the Vostok Battalion, a pro-Russian militia. This wasn't going to be an easy route for the government in Kiev. And the leader of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic remained defiant. With these latest developments which are unfolding so fast and so aggressively, we have to appeal to the president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, personally, and to the entire Russian people. One Al Jazeera crew got caught up in a crossfire. They were on the road leading to the airport when shooting broke out. The crew escaped unharmed. But they narrowly avoided an explosion just as they were turning back. By Tuesday morning, the fighting had calmed down, but it was unclear if the military had complete control of the airport. The mayor of Donetsk urged residents to stay indoors at home. The man expected to be named Ukraine's new president in the coming days, Petro Poroshenko, compares the fighters in the east to Somali pirates, outlaws, who simply can't be invited to the negotiating table. Still, once the election commission confirms his victory in Sunday's vote, he says he'll make his first trip to the troubled eastern regions. And he's going to talk with Russia, which many accuse of supporting the fighters there in early June. Nick Spicer, Al Jazeera, Kiev.